Postpartum depression affects about 400,000 women each year in this country, but now there's a new drug to treat it. And some doctors are really calling this one a game changer. Of course, new mothers have a lot of questions about this. Our medical expert, Nurse Alice Benjamin, is here now. We've been talking about some of the benefits. I mean, yes. one is this, this is a fast-acting antidepressant. Yeah. But yes. there are some tricks to it. Can you walk us through how this one works? Yeah, so, so in theory, this medication, it's great. Um, it's administered over 60 hours, which is two and a half days. So you'll have to be in a hospital setting. But the thing about that is, it's administered in the blood, so it's going to begin to take effect fairly quickly. And actually, before the end of administration, 95% of the people who participated in the study said that they felt better. And this medication, it, the effects of that IV administration, that one, can last for at least 30 days, which gives oral medications, which tend to take a lot longer to yeah, work. Two to four weeks. It gives we it time it. to work. So yeah. hopefully this is something where you just need it once, and by the time that 30 days has occurred, your oral medications have already started to work. Let's talk about some of the side effects. Mm -hmm. And I had a question about breastfeeding during this yes. time. Yes. Yeah, so some of the side effects include um, headaches, nausea, vomiting. Um, the main concern, I will say, is and loss of consciousness, which is why this medication has a very strict distribution and can only be administered in the hospitals. Now, which, which leads to the expense of it because yes. if it has to be administered intravenously in the hospital. We know it's going to be pricey. Right. So the drug at market price. I've seen a range from twenty to thirty-five thousand dollars per administration. Mm. Um, so there's that cost, in addition to the cost of being in the hospital and the monitoring. And because of this high risk of sedation and loss of consciousness, this is likely going to equate to being in the ICU, which is a very can be very, very expensive um, to stay in the hospital. So there are some hidden costs behind just the medication itself. You, you say anywhere from twenty-five to thirty-four thousand dollars. This is not something that's going to be accessible to everyone. No, and unfortunately. Most of the women who do suffer from postpartum depression are those who are low income and uninsured. So unfortunately, it may be a challenge for this medication, which sounds great in theory, to actually get into the hands of people who actually can benefit from it. It's a step forward, but it still seems like it has a bit of a way to go to, right. to reach folks who need it the most. It, sure. It does. All right, Nurse Alice, appreciate it as always. Good seeing you. Thank you so much. All right. Right now we want to take you outside.